Uh, now, we are talking about this Transport for the North annual conference. It brings together the North's political and business leaders, government and industry representatives to discuss key issues. And among those attending will be uh, Andy Burnham, the Mayor of London, as well as uh, Transport for the North's Chief Executive, Martin Tugwell, who I'm pleased to say joins us this morning. Good morning to you. Uh, look, presumably quite a lot to talk about uh, at your conference today, but we're all very keen to hear what you think you might be able to do to possibly resurrect HS2 now the government have washed their hands of it. Well, good morning and uh, welcome from Liverpool. And it is an important day because Transport North is very much bringing together, as you say, the political and the business leaders. Uh, and the ambition that the, the North has remains undiminished. We know that if we get the investment in the big infrastructure, um, we can deliver over 118 billion extra uh, to the economy by 2050. So investing in the big infrastructure, investing in the capacity to connect our big cities is absolutely on the front of our agenda today. And what about HS2 and were any surplus, uh, anything to be gained or gleaned from the abandonment of HS2? Or indeed, uh, is it abandoned? Well, I think what we know is that there are problems and issues that we need to address. We still have to uh, think about how do we get extra capacity on the West Coast Main Line. We need to think about how we solve uh, rail access in and around Manchester. HST, uh, HS2 was going to help us with that. Now, because the government has uh, curtailed the later stages of it, it doesn't mean that we don't have to find solutions. And that's where initiatives by Mayor Burnham and Mayor Street are to be welcomed. Because actually, let's be honest, this is about is an investment is going to be both the public and the private sector. So these initiatives are important, but what remains undiminished is that ambition about unlocking the North's potential. And we've seen it in places like Birmingham, where you're seeing the regeneration around Curzon Street because the railway's coming. We want that to be happening in the North. Pairs for Martin. But, 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 could you repeat the question? I, I was saying, who pairs for it? Well, there's an investment um, from both the public and the private sector. Now, we know that the investment by the public sector is actually going to return things, not just in terms of the economy, but also in terms of improving equality and also reducing the environmental impact. If we think about the investment that's made in our northern rail services, every pound invested in our services delivers over £4.50 in terms of the wider economic, social and environmental benefits. It's not just about the economy, it's about improving equality in the north. We have over 3 million people in the north are living in areas where they don't have access to transport at the moment or they can't afford transport. So it's about the big investment, but it's also about um, working with our metro mayors and our local leaders to deliver improvements at a local level as well. I mean, there is lots of public money sloshing about, isn't there? After HS2 was axed, the government promised that they would redirect lots of those funds into infrastructure projects in the region. Are you feeling those promised benefits of cancelling HS2? Well, we're starting to see some of the big investment happening. We've got a major project in the north called the Trans Pennine Route Upgrade, over £10 billion worth of investment to improve the core route between Manchester and Leeds. And that's a really important investment. But let's be honest, we've got to do things better. It took us over 10 years to get the remit for that project agreed, 10 years of delays, 10 years of extra costs. And what we're about here at the TFN conference today is not just saying, what's the ambition but how do we work to do things differently how do we be more efficient at using the money that is available to deliver things sooner because if we deliver it sooner it'll be cheaper and it'll also bring benefits to people and businesses faster so trans pennine okay so just for people who don't know that would be linking uh, what leads sheffield right across the, the, through manchester to liverpool am i assuming it's, the core of it is about improvement in extra capacity, extra trains between uh, Manchester and Leeds. But you're right, we've also got to see improvements at Sheffield. Uh, we want to improve the southern route across the Pennines from Sheffield to Liverpool. We want to see that connection to Hull and the East Coast. We need to see improvements on the East Coast main line. So there are still challenges across the, the north where we need to work together as 
political and business leaders to have the ideas, have the plans, and then work with government and the private sector to make them happen and make them real on the ground. Okay. Martin Tugwell, thank you very much indeed. Martin will be speaking at that Transport for the North Annual Conference uh, together with the Mayor of Greater Manchester, the Liverpool City Region Mayor, the Mayor of West Yorkshire, uh, the Transport for the North Chair, Transport for the North Chief Executive, which is what uh, Martin is there. So big hitters uh, at that conference today. Let's hope they come up with something which is beneficial mm. to people.